Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. I'm cracking up because I was just wondering if... So, excuse my looks, by the way. I need a shower and stuff, but, you know, I just can't live if living is without you. Do you remember... I'm laughing because do you remember some shows... I'll, I can see how old my um, subscribers are. From This chair has reached levels of absurdity. I mean, I'm going to be on the ground <laughs> on a pillow. I might switch to a different chair that I have in the house. Oh, my God. Sorry. Okay. Um, did I do my intro? This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. I can't remember one second to the next. Do you remember certain shows when we were younger? And one of them was, it was kind of strange. It was on, I think, on Saturday afternoons. And it was called Make-A-Wish. And it went, there's something on my lip there. Make-A-Wish. Dream a dream. Have a ball. Do it all if you want it. Uh, you can get it. But to get it, you gotta want it. Anything you want to try. Just let go and fly. <laughs> Every song sounds like Bob Dylan. Okay, listen, do you remember that at all? It was very strange. Then there was another show called Land of the Lost. Do you remember that? It was like a... I think it was a father and his two kids, a girl and a boy, and they went rafting or something. As often happens when we go rafting, they fell down some rapids and ended up in the um, dinosaur era. Yeah, that's a frequent problem I've had when I'm kayaking, actually. But, um, oh, that was that was a strange show. And they, um, there was the, kind of the bad guys on that were called Slee Stacks. I had a teacher that kind of looked like one. They just, it was weird. A Land of the Lost, uh, Make a Wish, Dream a Dream. And then, of course, remember the guy with the big afro that did the painting? I forget his name. He was so good. Oh, my God. Those were the days. And then, uh, of course, Schoolhouse Rock. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up words and phrases and clauses. Anyhow, I'm just on a walk down memory lane. One reason is, guess what I did this morning? Take a stab, take a, you know, a guess. I couldn't think of another. I watched Close Encounters of the Third Kind, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't think I've ever seen it all the way through. I remember different parts of it and stuff. The reason why I watched it, of course, is because last night, I got into some, you know, UFOlogy stuff, as I do from time to time. And they claim that, I can't even remember the name of the planet, but after Roswell or something, there was one entity, one being, one thing, I don't want to call it a thing, that survived after the crash and um, eventually was able to get in touch with this home planet, like ET phone home kind of scenario. And one thing led to another to cut to the chase, and evidently... According to this gentleman, and according to an anonymous source, and according to I don't know what, uh, we, as in Americans, went, 12 of us went to another planet entirely, built, built trillions of miles away through uh, wormholes and whatever, uh, bending the various multiverses in and arriving in 10 months. And it was some sort of exchange program, like a foreign exchange student, but this way, like really very foreign and quite an exchange, too. Uh, yeah, and they claim that Close Encounters of the Third Kind was kind of based on that. Have you ever heard of that? It's not, it starts with an S, the planet, Planet Serpico, Planet Surio, Planet something with an S and it ends in an O, I think. The people were totally sweet there, and they had reached a level where they didn't need governments, like the whole, their whole planet, I couldn't think of the word, was in sync and blah da 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 da. They didn't have money. They didn't deal with money. I don't know. Just wondering if you ever heard of it. It's the first I've ever heard of it, and I thought, by golly, I'm going to watch that Close Encounters of the Third Kind clear through. I thought those aliens were precious, frankly. They were absolutely adorable. What do you think? I'm sure I know everybody here has seen it. And by the way, I liked it. Remember, I didn't care for Close en or not Close Encounter for um, the Space Odyssey one and people. Couldn't get over it. We'll just put it that way. All right, that's all. I was just wondering how, if you remember those goofy shows from uh, years gone by. There were several others that I've asked people about, and they've never heard of it, especially that Make-A-Wish. I don't I don't know. I watched it all the time, even though it was strange. And then, see, they would, like, 
how would they do them? Like, they would maybe talk about a guitar or something or, you know, shoes, how they were made or whatever. On the Make-A-Wish, dream a dream, have a ball, do it all if you want it, you can get it. Okay. Launching with Lisa, the video series that has me launching while coming at you thoughts today. I must go downtown. I Of course, I have to get cigarettes. It's the only reason I ever leave the house. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I have to do some things today. It's chilly. I'm in a flannel shirt for crying out loud. Live for you. Drop your uh, labels against yourself and others. And let's concentrate on being earthlings. Love you.